Now I'm going to show you the algorithm to, in case you want to calculate the day of the week for any date. In this category, I'm the current world record holder with 93 dates in one minute. So let me... Maybe now you're wondering why are all these numbers here. Let me explain what the numbers... What, what is the meaning of these numbers. For example, this means that January is 5, February is 1, March is, is 1, April is 4, <coughs> and so on. So actually these are numbers that we're going to use in our algorithm. So eventually you need to memorize these numbers. Also here we have displayed a, a four numbers for each century. Okay? For this 18th century, which is the, between, uh, between 1700 and 1799, the number to use is 5. For the 19th century is 3, for the 20th century is 1, and for the 21st century, 0. Okay? For example, let's say we want to do the following date. Let's pick an important date. For example, July 4th, 1776. Okay. We want to find the day of the week of this date. July. July is right here. This is June. And this is July. The number for July is 4. So we need to put 4. The day is also 4. We're going to start adding all these numbers. Now, the 17th, which means we are talking about a date of the 18th century. So it's a day between 1700 and 1799. We need to add 5. So this 5 is coming from this 17. Now, the year. And this is the most complicated part. We need to add now the year. But also, we need to add the year divided by 4. And one more. Check this out. This is not a normal bracket. This is a bracket that means that you have to add... 76 divided by 4, round it down, okay? For example, what, what do we get after we do the whole addition? 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 5, 13. 13 plus 76, 89. 89, this is 19. Actually, this is exactly 19. 89 plus 19 is 108. 108 plus 1 is 109. Now, finally, this number, we're going to divide this number by 7. Let's do it. How many times go 7 into 10? Okay, 1. Now, how many times go 7 into 39? 5. Now, check this value. The value of the remainder is 4. What this means is that the day of the week corresponding to 4th July, 1776, is the 4th day of the week. Started by Monday, 1. Tuesday is 2, Wednesday is 3, and Thursday is 4. That means that the 4th of July, or 1776, was a Thursday. Let's try another date. Let's try a more recent date. For example, December 15, 2012. Okay, for December, the number for December is 3. So we have 3 plus 15 plus, in this case, we have a date of the 21st century. So you, we don't have to add anything. Let's put the zero just to show you. But well, essentially, you don't have to add zero, right? Now, the 12. You're going to write 12 plus 12 divided by 4 plus 1. Let's do the whole addition. Eight, 3 plus 15, 18. Plus 0, 18. Plus 12, 30. 30. This is 3. 33 plus 1, 34. And finally, let's divide 7, I mean 34 by 7. How many times goes 7 to 34? Okay, it goes 4 times. And what is the remainder? Remember, we don't care about the quotient. We only care about the remainder. So 34 minus 28, 6. If it is 6, that means the answer is Saturday. So December 15, 2012, Saturday.